Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Ben, with Maker Decor. Thanks for watching. I got a really cool video prepared for y'all today. We'll let you know that I actually did forget to plug in my audio for the intro and the whole setup. And I wasn't sure if to include this in the video or not, but as you can see, I actually cut multiple moons. So I, I did multiple different style of moons of different sizes. I wanted a large moon I wanted it to make an impact I wanted it to be the focal point of your event and so when I was making the moons they were either too small or the wrong style they were too thin and it just kept bugging me and bugging me so uh, I actually made four moons I don't know if you can see all the plywood in the back and everything those are all just from the moons I went through I think the moon that I finally used was actually the fifth moon that I made definitely it came out exactly what I was looking for and then also I love the way the hot air balloon came out came out great I had a really fun time putting the build together and just so you know I will have the moon in two different styles this is the large one I have the moon will be it's just under eight feet tall but I'm also gonna put a, a shorter moon in there for someone who wanted a different style maybe and then I'm also going to have some clouds included it and the star included they'll be in the two foot four foot and six foot sizes for the stars i'm also going to include two different sizes for the clouds so you'll see a lot of that stuff in there and i'm going to put all this stuff together in the plans and the hot air balloon is six foot tall but i'm also going to have a four foot stencil and a two foot stencil available in the plans So I do recommend sanding for this one, especially um, there's going to be a lot, you're using the jigsaw a lot. It's hard to kind of keep a steady hand. Uh, most of it um, I was able to get done, but really what helps out a lot, kind of hides stuff pretty easily without kind of going over again with the jigsaw, is just the sander. So if you use like, that's an orbital sander, all I'm doing is kind of giving a little round over on all the edges of all the cuts. And what that does is kind of hides the eye. A lot of the edges that you may see, that round over actually hides them pretty well. So I went through the whole thing front and back and did that. And with the jigsaw, you're gonna have one side that's really good and usually the top side is tore up because the jigsaw is going up and down so it'll tear up the top side so use that side that's what i'm going to flip over that's going to be my bottom and the other side should be really nice so whichever side looks really nice that's the one you're going to use I'm gonna tack it a couple of with the uh, brad nails from the bottom up and then flip it over and tack all of the edges. Uh, if you have a bunch of clamps, you can do it that way. The glue's still wet, so I'm just gonna brad nail it. Just a brad nail it will keep it in place when I flip it. Make sure if you have your brad nail gun, you have it all the way set back so it's not shooting straight through. Um, it'll just kind of um, keep the nail on the other side. And then we flip it, it'll be a lot easier. brad nails we're gonna use um, they won't go through this as long as you have yours at the lowest setting if you have it where it's gonna shoot through and be like under flush you might poke through the other side we don't want that so double check once you shoot a couple maybe one or two flip it over double check you're not shooting through it might poke through a little bit if it does you can just hit it with a hammer and then kind of put some putty but you want really want to avoid it. it's just more work on both if you have this one it's gonna be you pull this one all the way back and then this one all the way to negative Less than 10 of those brad nails shoot through just slightly. You'll just see it slightly poking through. Just hit it with the hammer and um, if I have to, I'll just put some wood filler, but the rest are fine. All right, so if you just want it six foot tall and you want it that height, um, or if you're making a four foot or a two foot one, because I'm, I'm gonna have the stencils for the two foot and the four foot, you can leave it alone. Uh, the six foot, maybe if you have a van or something, it's kind of large. And I know everybody loves the foldable stuff, at least to kind of help maneuver, especially getting inside of a building. It can be uh, difficult sometimes getting through doors or um, finding uh, elevators that will allow you to, to wherever you need to go. Since we get so many requests on the foldable stuff, you know what we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna cut this in half and we're gonna fold it. Hopefully I don't mess this up and I have to redo this whole thing again. Um, 
wasn't too bad the stencil was probably the most difficult part taping it all together so I have a track saw I'm gonna line it up down the center and I'm gonna cut down it in the center but if you don't whatever you need it could be a 2x4 or even a piece of metal maybe an angle iron and you're gonna clamp it down on each side and all you're gonna do is use that to have your regular circular circular saw just ride against it just so you get a perfect clean cut down the middle um, just anything that's gonna be over six feet um, I'm telling you like a piece of angle iron that you just you you will have to take some measurements to make sure your saw blade is gonna be right in the center of where we want to cut but you're just gonna clamp each end and then just use your saw just to, as a guide just to go all the way against the can try it freehand it goes super slow, but it's always better to have a guide, just something on the side that holds that you can just use your circular saw to kind of guide against all the way across. So with the plants, you can either leave it the full one or you can cut it in half, whatever you're gonna need. So I definitely want to kind of prove the concept did that work and definitely does so when you get the plans you're gonna see some upgraded things in the back for the stand just to make sure it's the best it can be I'll add more detail in the plans it was just a little concept of does it work and it does if you're not gonna cut it in half I'm gonna also have the plans for it uh, if you just want to keep it the six foot tall and non foldable uh, follow it the same way much easier you don't have to cut it in the middle and you're gonna do similar to this stand I'll have it in the plans you'll just kind of screw it in to the back and you're all set this is a great size six foot I'm gonna have four foot and two foot as well just you have that there just in case I don't know you're doing an event something pops up and you're like man a two foot one will look real nice I'll put that in there <laughs> that was pretty easy right all right thanks for watching i got a lot of cool builds coming up so make sure you subscribed and i'll see you on the next one